Welcome into the Seifert Orient's Funeral Home Warm-Up Show. I'm Patrick Hamler. Mark Kuntz will be along later as we preview the 2014 Shawnee Indians with us, a full panel of Shawnee Indians with us today. We have head coach Steve Owen and a couple of seniors, uh, Zach Kaplan and Richie Dubler. Guys, thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you. Coach, I'll start with you first. You're coming off a 2-8 and eight season. What do you take away, positive and negative, from last season? Well, obviously, we'd like to have had a lot more wins last year, but uh, it was a good experience you know, for the kids. We have a lot of returners coming back. We have 12 starters back, 14 letter winners. So I think it was, it was a great experience for them. And you know, to get the first year as head coach under my belt you know, and, and getting ready into our second season, it, it's, uh, you know, it's been a, a good step in the right direction. Heading into year two, how is the prep for this season look different compared to last season for you? Well, the biggest thing is the kids are more uh, in line with what we did last year. They're, they're comfortable with our schemes. Um, you know, we did some fine tuning over the, during the off season. Uh, but the kids, as we started our camps in the summer, started two a day practices, you know, they had a pretty good idea of what we wanted to accomplish. Um, there wasn't as much teaching of the basics as we had to do last year. So, I mean, it, it, we're definitely farther ahead at this point this year than we were last year. Rich, I'm going to turn to you for a second. What have uh, you been able to pick up from practice? What have you been working on leading up to week one? Um, you know, it's we've just really been a lot more focused this year on uh, doing our plays right and uh, getting things right the first time. And uh, I feel like that's really helped us get farther ahead this year right, right now than we were last year at this time. And uh, I think it's really going to show week one against Marion Local. Same question to you, uh, Zach. What have, what have you been working on leading up to week one? I've just been trying to work hard and stay focused. And uh, a lot of the players are getting excited for the season. And uh, how, have the, how have the guys, your seniors, how have they matured from the end of last season to leading up to the beginning of this season? And how has that impacted the football team? Well, I mean, they've taken an obvious leadership role. You know, it started back in December when we started our off-season program. Um, it's continued through the spring and now into the summer. Uh, and into our, you know, to our two-day practices where they've, they're leading by example. They're doing things the right way. And, and I think it's rubbing off on some of our younger players. Heading into the season, what, what is your attack going to look like? What, what's Shawnee's offense going to look like this year, for example? We'll start there. It's a little different than last year. We're, we're running without a tight end set. Um, so we'll have a lot of receivers on the field at a time. I'm not saying we're going to be you know, five wide like Kenton is, but uh, you know, it'll be a little different. Um, we still want to be able to run the football. Uh, we have some good running backs that we want to definitely uh, get them the ball and so forth. But we also do want to try to throw the ball more as well. Um, you know, Protection is a huge part of being able to run the ball and make sure those linemen know where they need to be and that all how those schemes look good. How has that been looking for you guys heading up to the season? You know, just practicing tirelessly every day on the line, going over our schemes and uh, really getting it down uh, packed, you know, so we can have the quarterback protected and give him enough time to get the ball off. Defensively, how are you guys going to look? Well, we're very similar to where we were last year. We're in a, an even front. Um, you know, we return the bulk of our front seven from last year so that's that helps and uh, but we did get hurt a little bit in the secondary with graduation but uh, we got some young kids that are uh, had a really good summer so far and and you know hopefully that's going to translate to a you know a stout defense. Zach with a lot of the guys the front seven coming back defensively how has that helped you with getting everybody together and understand what you're all trying to do on defense? Uh, we're, I'm just uh, comfortable with the players and uh, we're just uh you know, just it's a little, very similar to last year. We're all ready to play and just ready for the season. Now, you guys had a great start to last year. You started 2-1 and one, and then dropping those last seven games. How do you prevent something like that from happening again this year? Well, the first thing is we got to avoid the injury bug. Um, you know, we kind of got zapped by that uh, week four, week five of last season. And, you know, we, we never really could recover completely from that. But, I mean, even in the games that we lost there at the back half, um, we were in most of them. I mean, there was a couple games where uh, it kind of got away from us quick. But for the most part, we were in them right to the end, but just couldn't, you know, get over that hump. And hopefully that's not going to happen this year. Is there an overall takeaway? You mentioned there were three games that you guys were uh, very close in. Uh, losses to Defiance by seven, Elida by five, and OG by one. 
is there an overall consistent takeaway with each of those games? Is there a, I don't say moral victory because that gets overused a lot, but is there something like that that you take away from a, a close loss like that? Uh, in, in games like that, it usually comes down to one or two plays. You know, one or two plays where guys uh, didn't fulfill their assignment or, or we had a missed tackle or, uh, or uh, missed block and we just have to get better at, at making sure those things don't happen and, and, and fulfill our jobs. Week one, you guys have Marion Local. As a coach, do you prefer having a really tough game to start or do you prefer to ease into it? How do you feel about having a, you know, a pretty tough game as, your, as week one? There's obvious pros and cons to it. Um, you know, the biggest thing is it, it does prepare us well for our, season, for our league season. Uh, you know, Marion Local does a lot of the same things we're going to see week in and week out in the WBL. Um, so it, it does do a great job of preparing us for that. Um, but it's also, you know, the defending state champs. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough opener for us, but, you know, we're going to find out real quick how good we're going to be. Real quick, last thing for you guys. Start with you, Richie. What is one game you're looking forward to this year playing? Um, I'd have to say the uh, Ottawa Glandorf game, just because we lost by one point last year and it was, it was a really tough loss. I think it's going to be a good game this year. Zach, what about you? Uh, I'll also have to go with the Ottawa Glandorf game because that was just a really close game. and I think we are a better team than them. We can just come out and work hard and do everything we need to do and come out with the victory this year. Sounds good. Zach, Richie, Coach, thanks a lot for joining us. When we come back on the Cypher Orient's warm-up show, Mark Koontz will be back with some Shawnee Indians when we come back here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Seifert Orient's Funeral Home as we're at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Mark Koontz, joined now by three Shawnee football players, Jansen McCormick, Jared Slusher, and Will Clefter down on the end. And Jansen, we'll start with you. You were one of the returners from a defensive line and looked as to be one of the leaders of this year's team. How did the offseason go for you personally and for your unit as a whole? I think it went pretty good. We had a decent amount of people in the weight room and uh, lifting. we've been lifting pretty good all, all offseason. And... Uh, as a unit, like as, as me, I, I feel like I've gotten stronger, and as a unit, we've gotten a lot stronger. Jared, you look at last year's season, started 2-1, and one, but then finished 0-7, oh but there was a lot of close losses, a couple plays away from perhaps a whole different story. Could you see the team improving week to week last year? Oh, yeah, for sure. But we just need to just keep coming, just step it up, make, make more plays because those close games. We could, we could at least easily have been 5-5 five and five last year. Will, what, uh, what did you need to work on the most from last year going into this year now? Uh, this year, I think mainly was taking better steps as an offensive lineman. I had struggled that and driving my feet more. I would miss some blocks, unfortunately, because of not being able to drive my feet as well. You look at the quarterback situation, you got a couple of guys competing. What does each of those guys bring to the table? They both have the ability to pass very well, and they both can run quite a bit as well. Jared? How has the, the camp gone for you guys so far? You had a, first, had a couple scrimmages under your belt now. Have you guys, what did you learn from those scrimmages? Uh, just getting in the zones, just playing on man, just trying to get it off the ball, getting, getting off the receiver or getting off our defender, just stacking back on top of the routes, just make, make, making our routes more crisp and passing the ball better. Jansen, another scrimmage coming up this weekend. What do you hope to accomplish from that last practice game? Well, I hope every, every game we want to get better. So hopefully we get a lot better. Uh, we need to work on our um, offensive line. We need to get off the ball a little bit more. And, uh, but I'm hoping as a defensive line standpoint to uh, make sure no runs get through. No runs at all. Big challenge week one with the three-time defending state champions, Marion Local making the trip down to Maria Stein. Well, you, you played those guys tough over the years is this the year you can maybe get that week one victory over the flyers uh, i feel so i feel like we can i we've like i said we've been in the weight room and we've we've been practicing and we've been getting better so i, I feel like we can as long as we all have 100 percent, 110 percent minds right we're good jared we hear a lot of smack talk between the wbl and the mac which one's the better conference in your opinion wl for sure always <laughs> It will you look at the Western Buckeye League this year, a lot of changes with the coaches throughout the conferences. Is this maybe a more wide-open league than we've seen the last few years? I'd like to think so, yeah, definitely. It will how have you seen Coach Owen grow second year going in as, as the head coach and after a long time as assistant? 
Um, he's, I think he's a lot more into conditioning. He can really get us going when we need to get going. Sometimes we'll be flat at practice, and he'll really get us going the way we need to. All right, we need to take a break here on the Cyphered Orient warm-up from Buffalo Wild Wings. When we come back, more from Shawnee here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Seifert Orions warm-up. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined now by Angelo Fox, Malik Simpson, and Jake Leplet down on the end. And Jake, we'll start with you. A couple of, a little over a week away from the first game of the season. How eager is this team to get out there and start playing football for real? We're very excited to get out there and show everyone what we're made of. Uh, last year, we got off to a pretty good start and then faded away because of injuries and whatnot. And uh, we're just ready to look against a great opponent, Marion Locals. Uh, three-time state champs yeah we're ready to go out there and get everything we got Malik what did this team learn from that seven game losing streak to end last year you guys were in a lot of those games you were competitive did you guys learn things from from that the way last year ended yeah we did we're we're trying to work on everything that like trying to correct for everything from last year and whatnot like with injuries like Jake said and uh, things like pass coverage get our line better and whatnot things that we can capitalize on that we didn't do last year so we, we Angela talking to coach Owen earlier he mentioned offensively you guys changing things a little bit going a little bit more of a, of a passing attack but there's still gonna be plenty of touches for you in the running back position right yes correct <laughs> well, what are your goals for this season my goal is just to pick up from where I was at last year just continue off of that you look at the, the rest of the WBL a lot of question marks throughout the conference you guys were in a lot of those games last year. Is, could this be a year where you guys make a move up the standings in the Western Buckeye League? Yeah, we, we, we look a lot better than we were last year. Like, the, from our scrimmage against Spencerville, we did a lot better this year than we did last year. Malik got another scrimmage coming up this weekend against Napoleon. What, uh, what is this team looking to get out of that practice game against the Wildcats? Well, we know they pass a lot, so we're looking to see, test our DBs, see how much they, it's a few runs in there, but the pass coverage, we, we're looking to test that, see how good we are with the deep threat and whatnot, see if we can defend it a lot, so, yeah. Jake, it's almost done. You're almost ready to get into a normal game week. Are you ready to put training camp behind you? Is it starting to get to that grind at this point? You're ready for it? I'm, I'm dying to get out there and start this season. I can't wait. Senior year, it's time to go all out, get a couple wins for Shawnee, and get some, get, start a winning tradition back at uh, Shawnee. All right. I'd like to thank all of our guests here at Buffalo Wild Wings. For Patrick Kamler, I'm Mark Hoons. Thank you for joining us on the Cypher Orange Funeral Home Warm-Up on WOSN. <laughs>